Hello, Geography. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I'm going to try and make this short. So uh, first thing I just want to talk about is uh, the schedule change that uh, this hopefully brief switch to virtual learning uh, is going to uh, have on the course. Uh, so I know originally the Central and South America map quiz was scheduled for today. Uh, but as we're not in person, that's not going to happen. Uh, so that quiz is now rescheduled for Tuesday, uh, January 18th, uh, assuming that we are back in person. Uh, yeah, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, if we are back in person on Tuesday, uh, then we will take that quiz. Uh, if we're out longer, that quiz is rescheduled for when we come back in person. Okay. Uh, today then, with this schedule change, uh, the main thing we're going to have to do then is uh, jump forward a bit to start looking at the age of exploration itself and to kind of begin to examine the uh, colonization of the Americas by uh, European powers. So uh, for today then, what you'll be doing, your assignment, uh, you, there is a short one-line primary source you'll be uh, reading and evaluating. The source is from an account of a uh, Portuguese explorer, Bartolome Diaz, and in it, he describes several of his motivations for exploring and contributing to uh, the colonization of, in his, in his case, Portugal. Um, and what you'll be doing is you'll be evaluating, one, what his account says. So uh, basically, what does he seem to indicate were his reasons for exploring and colonizing? And two, uh, you're going to evaluate how his motivations feed into uh, kind of a larger, more common uh, general historical perspective on the motivations for the exploration and conquest of Portugal and Spain. Uh, normally, when we look at Portugal and Spain in this early phase of exploration and colonization, uh, historians generally kind of, uh, they like to simplify and generalize their motives for colonization down to what we call the three Gs, uh, gold, God, and glory. Uh, we will discuss those more in depth um, when we are in person, we can discuss things in class more. Um, I don't want to go into too much depth with them now uh, because uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how well you guys can actually parse through and uh, evaluate Diaz's readings. But that is kind of, that ties into the second source or the, the second part of uh, your assignment today, where you are examining and evaluating how well or how much his motivations seem to line up with uh, gold, God, and glory. Um, let's see. I think that about wraps it up. Um, hope you guys have a good long weekend. I hope to see you Tuesday. And uh, if you have any questions about any of this, uh, just let me know. All right. Have a good one.